little big shot is a small boy who plays a big instrument. Hi, I'm Harley. I'm 11 years old and I can play the bagpipes. This is the chantry. When you blow into it, it makes a noise, a very loud noise. And it's not just the bagpipes that he's mastered, as you'll find out in a bit. Please welcome 11 year old Harley. Hello, everybody. Welcome Hello, to the show, buddy. You good? Welcome. Hello. Now, I've got to ask first what got you into the bagpipes? Um, well, my father's family is Scottish, so they have a very bagpipey culture to them. Yes, they do. <laughs> So is it the kind of instrument that attracts people, or...? Um, well, some people like it and some people really hate it. Hello, if you're watching. There's a grumpy old person over the fence who used to yell a whole bunch of F-words at me, and my name doesn't begin with F, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> and anyway, the funniest thing is, I'm usually playing my pipes with my earplugs in, so I can't really hear it. Can I suggest you get your earplugs and pass them over the fence to old mate? <laughs> so how hard is it to play? Well, it's kind of hard initially, but it really gets easier as you keep going on. Could you teach me how to play? Sure. sure. Well, you've got a set of pipes back there. Oh, you've got a spare set. That's what yeah. that was. Yeah. Most nice. people should be able to learn. However, some people just never be able to get it. <laughs> Which one am I? You're probably the one that can eventually learn it. Oh, fantastic. I'll bring this out then. So what do I do? So what you do is you hold it with your left hand in the stock, provided you're a right-handed person, and the left hand goes on the top of the chanter. I'm oh, right, I get you. Put your... Just put, for now, put your right hand on the blowpipe. Yeah. Put it in your mouth. Yeah. Blow into it. <laughs> OK, so to get the... I've e got an idea. Yes? You play. OK. <laughs> How about Amazing Grace? Absolutely. Fantastic! Round of applause for Harley. Now, um, as you know, when people pick up an electric guitar and they join a rock band, it tends to attract the ladies. How do you think the bagpipe would go in that field? Well, not as much as it would attract Scottish people. <laughs> so you have a chance of attracting a Scottish girlfriend? No. No? Have you got a girlfriend? I haven't managed to impress anyone yet. Working on it. Working on it? Yeah. What do you think you need to do to impress a girl? Well, I do the unicycle. Like, I just ride to school on it. You ride to school on yeah. a unicycle? And I ride back. Right. We have footage, apparently, of you on yeah. a unicycle. <laughs> this is you going to school? Yes, it is. What happened to the rest of the bike? <laughs> This is fantastic. What, so you go to the shops like this? Yes. Oh, yeah, got the high vis going. That's good. What made you decide to ride a unicycle? My father got it for me for my core strength, which is really essential in archery, as it allows you to hold still and aim at the target. You ever thought about combining archery and the bagpipe? Just whack an arrow. <laughs> Fire an arrow. An old mate comes over the fence. <laughs> no? So, now, do you want to play something else for us in the bagpipes? Sure. Now, I believe uh, you do it a little bit differently than other people. Don't you give anything away. You stay right there. You're going to go for a spin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the first time this has ever been set on television, I'm sure. Please welcome a bagpiping unicyclist. It's Harley. Take it away.
Tower!